something really rare to show you. Look at this cabinet. What's, what's all this junk? It's what's my, all this junk? It's my beautiful wife. What's this? Junk? Trash? Where's the trash can? We are crowded here, aren't we? This is the warehouse. Look at all the jukity boxes here. Look at all these mechanical pins. Look at the Satan's Hollow and the paper boy. Is this for Mark? Is this for Mark? No, and that's this for Mark? Is, and this is for Mark? The purpose of the Mark, video Mark, Mark, is to step Mark, back Mark. and show these people. Look, oh in God. the box, since 1981, never been unstrapped, it's never been opened. This is a Crush Roller Cabaret arcade video game. How do you know if it's never been opened up? We have two left. Do you see them over there? One of them is for me, it's for my cabaret collection. And we have one more what? to sell after that. That's right. I didn't I tell her about that. that. I could never open it up. Well, we're taking a chance. It could be another one of me. John, it could, it could be, be a rock in there. Oh, <laughs> it could be. All right, Jonathan, your assignment is I to walk, I get, walk. once we're out of the aisle, because right now we're clogging up the aisle. <laughs> Bring the, put this in the truck so we can take it next door and we'll watch, show you unpacking this beauty. Yeah, you're ready, John. Do it. Do it. We'll meet you at the shop. Okay, Scott, here we go. Let's open it up. <laughs> uh, I'm, flying out of it. <laughs> I'm exhausted already. <sighs> and I believe it'll lift straight off. Look at this. Ooh. Pretty. Beautiful. And what's this on the top? There's the key. The key? Oh, we'll have to get that off. Is the no, key right in that or not? Right here in the bottom. Uh, Can you, there they are. There, that must have held all the keys. We'll fish the keys out. Isn't this exciting? 1981. This is when this was packed up. You think it'll work? <laughs> Got a good view of Scott's butt. Ooh. Hey, Jonathan, come around the other side. This, that's awful. <laughs> Subjecting my viewers. I have young children watching. Gosh, man, look at this. All right, uh, here's the power cord. All right, John, look, here's the power cord. Uh, it's a <laughs> machine. It's a lot uh -oh. of doors. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guess what, gentlemen? Uh, overseas. Okay, well let's open it up. We'll just have to throw this one out. Oh, but the good news is, <laughs> it's fused. Now, Plus. I will tell you something. Plus. <laughs> overseas, now that, this is what we call a man plug. Because you can grip it, and you can plug it in. It's not like the plugs we have. That, that is a, that's, even the lights over there have these same plugs because it's 220. Look at that. Here, try, that, let's try plugging it in. Of that. See if we'll fit. Well, I can't even get it. Uh, All right, now we have to swing this open. Now, this game we have experienced. Oh my God! No! 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 You just got here. It's only 4:30. Hey, um. All right, let's figure out what Why does it come with so many keys? Well, let's look. This uses a system called the called the. And I'm going to quote this: the Swingomatic system. Now, what you do is you put in the key. Come over here, Jonathan, and turn on the light. Actually, turn on the double lights. We have, see in here, here, we only have two tubes running. Very cleverly. You know, he doesn't even know where the double system is. Right up here. We put another switch, so when you turn it on, this is what Whoa! Now, that's for exciting. <laughs> what happened? He didn't even know what happened. An extra that's bulb went on. <laughs> no, the other two tubes kicked <laughs> off. Now, you put, you turn these. And then the lock pops out. Is that yeah, popped out all the way? Awful system. You need two people to do it at the same time. You gotta go <laughs> one, two, three, turn. Hmm, let's see. Like Indiana Jones. I'll tell you what, get some of the little squirty stuff. There, oh no, it popped out. Got there it. we go. Turn the third light bulb on. <laughs> you turn the third bulb on. There we go. Look, the Swingomatic patented system. Look. It's got a muffler in it. Gosh, look, folks, look, look at this. A brand new 13 inch Wells Garner monitor. You will never in your life see anything so beautiful. Look, it hasn't been fired up. Think about this. In 34 years. Scrapper's going to love that. <laughs> no, you can't say that about my poor machine. 
Well, we're going to have to switch the power. Um, oh, good. That was... Uh, I'm sure... Oh, there's another interlock. Now, look, I want to show you. When you lo lower this, it pushes that shut and turns the machine back on again. Isn't that clever? Here's the original logic board. Look at this. The original logic board. Brand new. Look at how gorgeous it is. And look, there's the meter. 42 credits on the meter. 42. So it's not brand new then. Oh. Oh. She did you tell us she left? Did you see her walk out? Yep. My wife abandoned me at 425. The day is not even half over, is it, gentlemen? Kurt okay. just woke up. Hmm? Aren't it it's got a muffler in it? <laughs> no, these are the coins. Coin Coinomatics. <laughs> <laughs> the mufflers. <laughs> yeah, make it mufflers. <laughs> and look, it's got the power supply go go. Now we we are going to change the power supply. It's brand new. I'm sure it's going to work, but it's 35 years old, so we are going to change that. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Jonathan, get a uh, get a uh, cutters. We're going to cut it off, and we are going to put a regular, a normal plug on it, and then we're going to see what happens. Well, the new power cord is on. Turns out, it's got a 110 volt transformer in there. And uh, we didn't have to do any rewiring. And this is Mark. Mark is visiting from West Virginia. And he happened to come in at the special time of plugging it in. So, are we ready? Mark, maybe I should think more. Should be plugging in. See if you can plug it out. Oh, should we uh, tell everybody to hold our to the, the end? I don't have to buy this if flames come shooting out of it. You ready? You break it, you bought no it. responsibility here, right? <laughs> there we go. Nothing. <laughs> Turn the on and off There's button. There's something back here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, here's the underlock. Okay, now, now flip it. Okay, there's the lock. Ha ha! Look over here. It's powering up. Do you hear the powering up sounds? So I, I put those sounds in. I just I, I had to do that. The turbine starting up. Let's see. Let's see what we, what we have. Look at that. Look at that beautiful picture, Mark. A brand new monitor. Now you did Never. show down the chassis, right? Not many people yes. see that. Oh, yes, yes. We did that earlier before you arrived. See, Mark decided to stop to us. Why, why did you stop here? Not to buy anything, right? Yeah, Just to be part money? of this video. I had to be part of something. We like checks. I, he told me he was going to come by. I said, if you come... Oh, it's got an airlock. Okay, wait a minute. I, that requires you to pay, Ty. All right, all right, let's do this. Oops. Let's see. Uh oh, shit. It's set up for 20p. No. I don't have 20 pence. <laughs> so... It's still set. All right, we'll have to get around this, Mark. Look at the silver door. Isn't that nice? The chrome door. All right, let's see. Oh, no, we can't do that either. I'm not getting any better. All right, let's get our fingers in there, Mark. Okay, you know, we're going to have to put this on free play at some point. Oops, did you do that? No, it wasn't me. Okay, here we go. Look! Wow! The brand new leaf switch joystick hasn't been the first time it's being moved, guys. Obviously, as you can see, this is Make Tracks. And they, this is the original license, and Williams purchased the license. And the fish in the beginning are really dumb, but boy, they get smart real fast. And look, did you see the hole is already set? See the, uh, the warp hole? They already set that up. Now that appears and disappears. So if you go in the warp hole, you appear in a whole new place. Dead. Isn't this nice? Now there's also... Now Mark, get that, uh, that instruction card. I'm not quite sure where you're supposed to put that. This is obviously a factory make tracks or crash roller. But I don't quite understand. Now watch, you can you can bamboozle them. See? You back up and do it. Mark, have you ever played Crush Roller? No, I have not. I don't know what this is. Where would you put that? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be 
seem to be a good place to put it. Anyway, when you, we lift it up, it goes off. I do remember from the other crush rollers how easy it is to service the glass. You take this out, and the plexi comes right out, see? Now look, isn't that a nice touch? They got rubber here to sit against the wood. Very nice. Look at that picture too, but no burning, Mark. Isn't that beautiful? That's unusual. It's a work of art. Exidy, Ireland. From the Exidy Corporation. I don't think the copyright was Exidy, was it, Mark? Uh, now, the was other keys, it's, it's a different, right. same yeah. game, but different, uh, different name. And then this key opens up this lock here for the money. Look at all the money. Oh, now, now there's an oddity. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's carry these quarters out, shall we? <laughs> Now, you can obviously see the left coin chute was a much smaller area than they thought they were going to get for the right coin chute. This, folks, is the largest cash pan in the world. Feel how heavy this is. Industrial. Can you imagine how heavy that'd be full of quarters? Full of quarters! <laughs> well, I guess they were planning. Now, that's well made. Look at that. You know what? I, uh, put that back in there. And, and here's probably the most interesting thing. It looks like it's 00013. Could it be the 13th one made, Mark? Um, that's the serial number. And it's beautifully written down, too. I don't see. Oh, look. No, it looks like 18. 00018. Or maybe it's 81. No, no, it's because this way. They wrote it backwards. And, hmm. and look, there it is on the same board. Flip the camera around here. Let me hold it real quick. I'll show you this logic here. Look. Turn on the light. There. There it is, Mark, officially. It's the 00018. Well, it doesn't get any better than this, folks. It just doesn't. So, uh, got one more left in the warehouse, Mark. One left. And mine. I'm not selling mine. I'm going to leave mine in, in the box until somebody decides to buy it from me. The whole collection. I want to sell my whole cabaret collection. I've got almost a hundred of them. Really? A hundred of these babies. I'll sell it complete. Now you folks have seen something that you rarely get a chance to see. Brand new in the box stuff. And uh, if, oh, you know what? We'll put this on free play. This does have a free play setting. Now look, it's officially the Corel Samo Electronics. But there is a free play setting on this, so we will set this up. It's on Exidy. I guess Exidy must have built them in Ireland. Hmm. And then shipped them over here. Anyway, it's done. I see we have a little curl. We can adjust that curl real easy. That's the monitor. Actually, we'll, we'll let this thing burn in. Let me, do, let me show you. This is actually a really good way to show you because it's easy to see. This is we call this is the 4600 chassis. We all call it the vertical board chassis. This this uh, black bar holds the two circuit boards in place right here. So if to service either board, you squeeze these together. This swings up like that, and you can unplug the boards. Okay, now. I've you've seen in other videos, there's one adjustment pot that they thought about. The Wells Gardner were so clever, they put, put this hole in the metal frame so you could slide a screwdriver through so you could adjust this extra horizontal hold control there. And then we have vertical uh, size, vertical hold, and horizontal hold. But then this is another horizontal hold there. That's your brightness, your master brightness. That's your focus. When the, this flyback here, see this is a nice big size flyback. I can count on one hand, one hand out of hundreds and hundreds of these chassis of these that went bad. This was a really terrific power supply or a high voltage unit flyback power supply. That's the power supply. And that is going to be changed. We will put a new one in. That way our original logic board gets nice steady voltages. 
Isn't that a good thing, Mark? Absolutely. I hope you brought a lot of cash with you. I brought space in my van, too. He's going to buy a game. We'll see. Anyway, I think we've had just about enough. And Mark, I think you it's... You know, it is worth mentioning one thing yes. about this flyback. Yes, go ahead. If you ever have a flyback in a 4600 that winds, you can go in here and there's two screws or two bolts right under here. You can tighten them ever so slightly. Well, come over here and show the bolts. You can actually see them. And it'll actually cause that, that high pitch whine to go away. So a lot of those transformers, even though they sound like they're bad, you can, you can tighten that slightly. Do you see those screws? When I zoom in, unfortunately, it goes out of focus. But those are the screws right there. So now you know what to do. That's something I didn't know. I gotta teach you. You're you not supposed to. to show me. That's up. worth a discount, right, Tom? Should I give him a discount? <laughs> uh, shall we move on? Let's see what Mark bought. Yes, he bought a. It's not a crane, it's a sports arena, but it's one of those, they swing around on the side, Frank. It's a, uh, um, that's a game of skill. Yep. But it's not quite skill. It's a rigged skill game. Yes, as a matter of fact, the book, I actually, may show you some things. It actually had the manual on it. And I remember when they were selling these new, and they were showing you how you could set, you did the prize value, and you could set when the, the lamp stopped and things. But, uh, let's see, the lamp speed, so it has a lamp speed, slowest, slow, normal, fast, faster, faster, random, fast. Very clever. And uh, So Todd conned me into buying this, because it had a sign on it that said, to the roof. And I felt bad for it, so I thought, okay, I'll He thought we were going to throw this out, didn't he? Yeah, but we didn't, did we? Well, there's part numbers. Well, you're going to have to figure all this out. But then you have bonus credits, how to set things, uh, the track sound, free play. Oh, winnability. This is it. Now, everybody wonders, how do you set it? You know how when the lights move around, ding, 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 ding. well, you can set it. See, the game factory said normal, which is 40%. That means no matter what you do, how great you think you are, it's only going to pay off at 40%. Right. Now look, there's a setting where you win every single time, 100%. Then it goes to 50% every other time, then 45, 40, 37. See, you can make it real hard, so even though you timed it just right, the computer will bump it to the next light. And there it is, and black Proof. and white, actually pink Proof. and white, yep. pink and white. So I'm afraid that all the cranes are the same way. Well, the new <sighs> cranes, old cranes are legit. Well, they, 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 they're not settable, but everything is settable. So just like reality shows, it's fake. Uh... <laughs> anyway, should we put this sideways? Yeah, I'm just gonna lay it in. So, nice, easy, easy way to load. There we go. Another piece of junk out of Todd's. Junk? 2,827 more to go. Oh, we got an awful lot All of stuff in there. No, pieces of junk. Okay. Well, I guess it's time we say goodbye, isn't it? Yeah. You're not gonna do anything bad to me, are you? Nah, I figure. People need rid of you, though, right? For all of you wanting to get rid of Todd, he's gone. Now get out! Bye. It's so nice. Now get out! <laughs>